Hey guys, it's RG the Awesome here, bringing us the very first episode of our Pokemon Tempest playthrough. This game was made by my good friend Tyler, aka Phantom Base, um, and so I'm going to be playing through it. Uh, I don't, I don't really know a whole bunch about it. I, I have, I, I haven't played it yet before. Um, I, I was supposed to. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm one of the uh, testers, but I, I was so busy that I haven't gotten uh, a chance to play it till now. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and get into it. I have no idea what sound that was. Okay, let's go to options. Attack speed to fast immediately. Default movement running. Screen size. I'm gonna leave it the same because so that I don't uh, mess up anything. In the... Okay, Professor Oak. Hello. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Paul. Okay. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures we call Pokemon. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon. Some people, some battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Are you a boy or a girl? I'm a dude, my dude. What did you say your name was? I just put the entire thing. No, I can't. I'm, I, I'd be RG the also. So I'll just be RG. So you're RG. One last question. What are you be doing? Ooh. Nuzlocke run in this game. I wasn't initially. I wasn't going to initially do a Nuzlocke run in this game. No, I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be doing a Nuzlocke run. RG, are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Oh sweet, got that potion. Oops. Can I use wasp? I cannot use wasp. Okay. Let me run. Oh, RG, I'm glad you're up. Professor Meto said he want wants to speak with you about your job application. Things seem to be looking up, dear. After all, we only just moved here and already work seems to be coming to you. Well, best not keep him waiting. Good luck, honey. It's on the TV. There's nothing on the TV. Okay. Zero Town. Nobody in this house. What's this book say? Oh, I got the town map! We're just gonna ignore the fact that I burst into some random person's house while they weren't there and stole their town map. <laughs> and then there's rock climb. These rocks are climbable. What way do I go? What if I go down? The road is still under construction. Better head north first. Okay. I can't read that? Okay. I can only get to that house if I have surf. That better be a good house. Oh, RG, I hope you get that job with the professor. He could really use the help. Science is so amazing, you know, we have the ability to create items with other items. We can learn more about this region's crazy weather at the touch of a button. Isn't it great? Sorry to hear that, that's my puppies in the background. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Yeah, it is. So you're Mar Mary's child. Marie, Mary, Marie, Marie, Marie. Glad to see you both got moved in and settled. Your mom actually asked me if I could speak to you, and at the time you couldn't be more impeccable. Here in this book, we have a Pokemon that we have been using to help with our research into the weather here in Aurora. The weather in this region is quite diverse, and which has given us ample reason to need a Pokemon that can benefit from all weather. 
Seeing as I am currently working alone after having to remove my last aid due to him attempting to steal my research into this Pokemon, I would like to formally ask you to join on as my new assistant. I would also like to get have, you have this. It's a Pokemon I have been developing to help with our weather research. It's similar to Cap's form, but it has been tailored to the ill flow of you. Al Temper. You'd like to give a nickname to Al Temper? Sure. What do I nickname this Pokemon? I can't name him anger issues. Because he's got a temper. I'll call him Altadude. <laughs> Altadude. <laughs> That's such a stupid name. Now there are a couple of paths you can take from here. As some colleagues, both north and south of here, both of which would be more than happy to see the progress I've made on this Pokemon. So I'll ask you to pay a visit to both of my colleagues to update them on my progress. I do believe the south is still blocked with construction, so you should head north first. Come back here when you have completed your assignment. Oh, RG, I'm glad I caught you. Professor Mento wanted me to give you these before you left. And the EXP share. Well, honey, best of luck. I know you'll do great. I don't leave the EXP share on because I don't know how how hard um, the game is. RG, I'm glad I caught you. I heard I heard your news all far, and I was curious if you need to go through your entire different spots of the region. Are you happy to explain them? If you're like, yes, which type you want to learn about? Cosmic. Let's look at this chart I made. Strength. Would you like more time? Okay, so it's strong against steel, water, dragon, fairy, and cosmic. Resists rock, steel, water, dragon, and fairy. And is weak to fire, psychic, cosmic, and time. So it's strong against cosmic, but it's also weak to cosmic. No, I'm good. Hold on, it's strong against. You know what? I'll figure this stuff out later. I should probably check what type Al Temper is. What button do I press? That's the button I press. Altitude. He's time cosmic. Change, changes the weather, then it's form 2. Dude, I got perfect e health, special attack, and speed. Weather shot. Attack moves that varies in power depending on the type of weather. I got a Pokeball! Alright, do I want to catch this first Pokemon? It's a Snow Runt. I don't think I do. Go, Altidude! Sleep began to fall. Out to do transform. So now he's a. Well, he's still a time cosmo. Got away safely. Just because I'm pretty sure uh, Weather Shot would become Ice Hunt, right? Smooch him! I'm actually tempted to use you. Alright, well, I need to train at least a little bit, so let's see what if Weather Shot really is an Ice Hunt. It is, but I can take you down with it. Volcanic Ash sprinkles down. I'll have to do Transform. Oh, so he changes. He changes the weather every turn to a random weather. That's pretty cool. Alright, well, I should catch a Pokemon. Before I move on. I can catch a Pokemon in that grass.
I got a potion. I don't really want a snow runt. I want to train against it because again, I don't know how hard this game is. Oh, it's not random, it goes in a certain order. Yeah, I should catch a Pokemon before I move on. If all that's here is Smooth Jumps and Snow Run, then I'll catch a Snow Jump. Another snore. Am I not gonna run into another smoochum? Are smoochums just really, really rare? Another snow run. I should have caught that first uh, mood I ran into. So either time or cosmic resists um, ice. Another snow run. I'm just gonna be here all day, little bit smoochin'. That's the name of this episode. Smoochin, where are you? I wonder what type uh, the volcanic sleep makes it. Because I don't think it'd be fire, because the sun is fire, right? I don't think it'd be rock because ooh, it's Snover. I don't want to use a bomb though. I'd rather use Jinx. Then again, what if I just use a full-on weather team? <laughs> oh, it started to hail. So it's so sleet and hail are two different things. And now the sunlight is strong. Yeah, now he's a fire type. So it goes from hail. So which means that, yeah, but he, he, his clouds were brown, not... So which means that there's a good chance that it's... Raw? But I would imagine Sandstorm being raw. I don't know. Then again, Sleep and... Hail are the same. They, bo they both make ice. I didn't really want this to be a grinding episode, but I really want to smooch him. The snorts are just all over the place here. So what's the difference between sleet and hail then?
Got another Snover. I should check to see how much, uh, what other shots I have left. I only have five left. Alright, I think I'm done fighting the wild Pokemon. For now. Maybe I just give up on Smoochum. Another Snover. But no Smoochums. I'm seriously just considering giving up on the Smoochum. There we go! Alright, Altitude, do not crit and one-shot the Smoochum. It took me so long to find it. And Volcanic Ash, that's super effective. Ooh. I like the menu options. With menu looks. One. Two. Darn. Oh, it doesn't change it the second time. It's only it's only the first turn. Or maybe it's only after every attack. One, two, three, ding. Oh! If I run out of Pokeballs on the stupid sm I can't attack it because the Falling Ash is super effective. If I can't catch the stupid thing, I'll be so disappointed in everything I've ever I've ever done in my entire life. Everything I've done to reach this moment in my life to catch this smoochum! I'll nickname you Pucker Up. Alright. No, I can move on. No, I'll keep out the dude up front because the XP share is on. I heard Metal got a new aid. I just didn't expect a little punk like you. I'm Akron, the aid you replaced. And just what is that thing? You mean to tell me Metal actually made a Pokemon? All he ever had when I was there were cast one. But hey, at least mine is no weakling. He's got three Pokemon. Altadude! You're gonna regret challenging me. Yeah, I am! Because I don't have enough- Oh, and he's disabled me. Great. The sky is dark. <gasps> he transforms into something that's super effective!
Well, that's really disappointing. If I would have known a battle was coming up, I would have healed. Can I heal? I don't know if I can heal. But isn't Cast Form like the direct counter to Altitude? Yeah, because he's now a dark type. Unless I trend unless I sell or win, what's that? And he crits me. The air is humid. Whatever that what type am I now? I don't know, but it's regular effective. Is it flying type? And then stellar wind. Bagon. No. Ugh, you are so irritating. Is that a shiny Bagon? No, it's not. It's a uh, um, different form. It's a, um, regional variant. Hmm, <laughs> I guess you're not that bad. I guess Meadow had some time to take to make that thing decent. If you got lucky this time, don't expect any mercy from me if I see you again. Alright, once I find a Pokemon thing, I'm gonna end the episode off. This place kinda of gives me an eerie feel, it's almost like a ghost down here. Found a potion! Forgot I had those. No cap has never been super populated, but lately people have just disappeared. There's the Pokemon Center. So I'm gonna heal and uh, save and. Wow, I'd be happy to teach your Pokemon to move against you. Know, I'm here. One didn't learn to move, just come back there. I wish I weren't so far from the rest of the region, but I also hear that Mount Sierra is very similar, except it's super hot instead of super cold. I'm not sure which is worse. Welcome, how many I serve you? This one again. Oh, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Yes, I would like to rest my Pokemon. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Okay. With that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. So you guys stay awesome. I know I will. And I will see you next time.